Well, everyone, you might be trying to go ahead and send some photos, videos, any files for the most part from your iPhone to your Android phone or even from your Android to your iPhone. Now, there are many ways to do this, so there's not just one way of doing this, but one of the, my favorite ways to do it is by using our web browser. So we don't even need to send them via Bluetooth or anything like that. We can actually send them via our web browser. So to start off, what we can do is we want to make our way over to our specific you know, internet browser, any of the web, you know, Chrome, whatever, Safari, whatever you have. And what you're going to want to do is you want to start off on the phone that you want to go ahead and send files from. So let's say I had a photo or a file or video that I wanted to send on my Android phone to my iPhone. Well, what I want to do is I want to go to a website called snapdrop.net. This website is almost like AirDrop. You can use, there's a lot of other websites like this, and this website is sometimes down. So just keep that in mind. It's definitely not the best website in the world, but it's just doing the job. And then on the phone that you want to receive it, you want to go and do the same exact thing. Go to snapdrop.net again on the other website, and you will basically see this thing come up. So most of the time, you should just be able to see one phone come up on this time. I guess I don't know why I see two. So now let's say I wanted to send a photo or video or whatever from my Android to my iPhone. I want to find that specific phone that I just got. So what I can do is I can click here and I want to go and give it access to pretty much whatever it's requiring. And then I can choose my files or camera. In this case, I'll just choose files. And let's say I wanted to send a couple of files. I wanted to send this specific option. I want to send this one and I want to send this one. I think these are two images. What I can do is I can just select them just like that. I can go and choose that select button up here and watch what happens. This is probably going to go ahead and start sending things from this phone to this one. It usually can take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes for it to kind of register. And sometimes you may just have to refresh the page. So in this case, I'll just do the exact same thing on both. I'll just refresh it here, refresh it here. I'll just go and do the exact same thing. And you can see that as soon as I kind of did it again, you can see that it is now showing up on my other device. So now what I can do is I can just go and click here. I can go and click save. I can go and download the other file that it's requiring me to go and download. And that's pretty much all I'm going to have to do. Now what I can do now is I can make my way over to my downloads folder on my iPhone and I can go and find those files. So those are the files that I pretty much just downloaded. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. It really is that basic. And you can do this from Android to iPhone. You can do this from iPhone to Android. And it's really that basic of a process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.